I'm Faith Hensrud, president of Bemidji State University. I want to share my congratulations with our graduating seniors who moved here to Bemidji from across the world. We are very honored that you chose to complete your education at Bemidji State. You left your homes and family and endured some cold winter days while finding what I hope was a very warm welcome and an opportunity to make many new friends. I admire your willingness to venture out far from home for your college experience. My own international experiences did not come until after I graduated from college and while serving in the United States Army for a brief period in Honduras and Central America. Additional travel included visiting family members in Finland and tracing my ancestral roots. I have worn blue and white in honor of my Finnish heritage. And I share with you my Finnish flag pennant. You may also hear the music in the background. It's Finlandia by Sibelius. My favorite experiences always included an exploration of the history, the people, the food and culture, while attempting to speak a bit of the language. It always amazes me to see what you, our international students, do after you complete your BSU education. Many of you will return to your home countries to live and work, and others will find opportunities elsewhere. Wherever you go, once you leave Bemidji State, please know that you will leave a part of yourselves with us here at BSU. My name is Travis Green, and I am your Associate Vice President for Student Life and Success. And I've just finished my first year, where it has been a pleasure to serve alongside and with you. You represent the very best of Bemidji State, serving as leaders both in and outside of the classroom. I wish that we could be together to celebrate the Festival of Nations in person, but I thank you for having the creativity and ingenuity to find alternative ways of sharing a bit of your history and your culture with all of us at Bemidji State. When I was an undergraduate student at a college in southwestern Minnesota, I had the privilege and the opportunity to study abroad internationally in the Middle East. And it wasn't until I traveled internationally that I realized just how American that I was. Uh, we take for granted who we are when we're in the same culture, not having to explain our customs, our cultures, our beliefs, our ideologies. I only did that for six weeks, but you all have done this for many years and have given of yourself and opened your hearts and therefore opened our minds to learning more about difference and diversity. On behalf of the International Program Center, I just would like to say hi to you and I trust everything is going well with you. My special congratulations to the international students who are graduating this May. This is a very difficult time for all of us. We have been working remotely since mid-March, but IPC staff and I are available. To assist you in a timely manner is our priority. Stay safe and take good care of yourself. The Career Services team works with students from a variety of diverse backgrounds. We are proud to work at a campus that celebrates and embraces diversity. Nancy, Molly, Lisa, and I would like to congratulate all international students graduating during 2020, and we wish you the best of luck as you enter the world of work. We are here to help you make that transition from student to professional. Our staff offers a safe, welcoming, and inclusive approach that values differences and ensures equitable opportunities for all. Check out our website or email us at career at bemidjistate.edu for any assistance you may need to help you. Best of luck with your life after BSU. Hi, I'm Angie Clark, the Summer Program Director here at Bemidji State. And what I really appreciate is that our international students bring so much diversity to our campus in terms of culture, language, and ideas. Um, I also really appreciate that our international students help our local students, faculty, and staff in challenging our beliefs on what we think is the norm for cross-cultural communication. And having a diverse perspective and really getting to know 
our international students um, and their unique personal characteristics has also been very enlightening. Hello, I'm Dr. De Li, or you can call me Cliff. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Business Administration at BSU. I know it's a tough time, but actually it can provide a lot of opportunities. And everybody knows that Isaac Newton got his big theories figured out under apple tree, but not everybody knows that it also happened in a pandemic. So let me show you a screen. So during a pandemic, Isaac Newton had to work from home and he used the time wisely. So my suggestion is also use your time wisely. I know you will graduate, but whether you want to find a job or you go to apply for graduate schools, you can prepare for your exams, prepare for your job skills. A lot of, lot of things you can do at home and stay healthy, stay strong. Hi, my name is Ana Lopez Aguilera and I teach Spanish at BSU. My best wishes to the international students graduating this year and to the international community at BSU. Although the end of the semester has been difficult, I hope you had an overall positive and rewarding experience, an experience of good friends, exciting adventures, and personal and intellectual growth. As a fellow foreigner who has been 15 years in the United States, I learned to appreciate the value of kindness. Kindness, regardless of country of origin, accent, or physical appearance, as you know, being a foreigner means facing situations outside of your comfort zone and your presence will put people outside of their comfort zone as well. Those situations, when you step outside of what you know, can be frightening for many. My name is Joe. I'm from the International Program Center. I came to the U.S. first as an exchange student and then later stayed in Kansas City to pursue my undergraduate and graduate degrees. What do international experience mean to me? Most people would say it broadened their horizon, and it sure did for me as well. But at the same time, it also brought me confusion, frustration, and sometimes conflict with my former self and with where I came from. And for the first four or five years in the US, I just tried to blend in. I wanted to speak like everyone else, drop my accent, I wanted to dress like everyone else, act like everyone else, but it wasn't until much later that I realized all of these experiences became a part of me and they all happened for a reason. And what I needed to do is to learn from these experiences and, and think about how they have shaped my thinking and my personal growth. And now I embrace my differences. I am comfortable in my own skin. And, and that is my message to you. I want you to go out there in this world and be yourself. Just be yourself and be confident and comfortable in your own skin. You add perspective, you add color, and you add value to our society. And we need those. Some of you I've gotten to know over the past couple of years, but for those who don't know me, my name is Russ Dahlke and I'm analyst in the Office of Enrollment Management. Like you, I was also an international student, but not at BSU. I attended Maastricht University in the Netherlands from 2016 through 2017 as a graduate student, and I've been working here since 2018. While I'm sure we shared many of the same experiences, such as missing home, navigating cultural and language differences, trying new foods, and spending many long hours studying. One thing I hope you've gained from your time here is a clear understanding of how the infinite diversity of mankind contributes to all of our learning and development. It is the sharing of cultures, experiences, and perspectives that has brought knowledge and prosperity to the world. I hope that wherever your next step might be, your diverse experiences will be a source of mutual growth and inspiration for your communities be proud of yourselves. You've worked hard, spent years completing your degrees, and are triumphing at the time of a global pandemic. Dear international graduates, first of all, congratulations on completing your undergrad studies. 
I'm Dr. Solo Hong, the coordinator of Center for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at BSU. I came to the U.S. for my grad school in 2008, and now I'm serving as a service faculty here after I earned my PhD in higher education. I'm also the advisor of the International Student Organization. Congratulations to your achievement, and I hope you know that all the amazing people you've met here at BSU will always be your Beaver family, and you can always call Bemidji your second home. Given my position, I see diversity as a holistic concept that acknowledges and respects differences. Those differences affect individuals' perspectives and perceptions, which may raise some concerns or bring some challenges to the journey of being true to yourself. As you are graduating from BSU, with all you have learned during your time here, as you are going into the world outside of the campus, I hope you will have such a solid foundation and confidence that nothing will shake your stance to fully be yourself. Since each of us could make the world a better place, here I urge you to respect and believe in yourself first, to be an authentic person next, and then to help others whenever you can. We can't thank you enough for choosing Bemidji State, and we know that this lifelong relationship that you built with the university will last much longer than your physical presence on campus. We hope that you come back and visit, and as Bemidji State Beavers are everywhere globally, we look forward to seeing you at your home and in our homes throughout. While we did not get to experience our usual format for the Festival of Nations this spring, I consider that event one of my favorite here at BSU. Best wishes to our 29 international students who are among our more than 1,000 graduates in 2020. We want to hear from you after you graduate, so be sure to keep us up to date on your next adventures. Congratulations to all of our graduates. So thank you so much for being a part of our community and sharing yourselves with us. It's been a true gift to have you on campus and as a student here. Thank you. Never forget that. You're strong, smart, and capable. Congratulations and good luck with the rest of your journey. Go Beavers! Go Beavers!